All right, a uh, key senator is speaking out on uh, this uh, health care back and forth right now as uh, Republicans have put together more some, uh, you know, clear specifications on what's in their measure, not to win over votes, but more specifically, just explain the math behind their latest proposal. For example, penalties for those who let their coverage lapse, et cetera, without detailing the exact penalties. Adam Shapiro with an exclusive chat with Senator Orrin Hatch, uh, of course, the Utah Republican, is going to play a vital role in all of this. Hey, Adam. Hey, no, yeah, Warren Hatch, I mean, as chairman of Senate Finance, that committee has oversight over roughly f greater than 50% of the U.S. budget and oversight over tax reform and health care. So we talked with him in an exclusive interview about the big issues of the Trump agenda. Let's talk uh, tax reform right now. President Trump wants the corporate tax rate, the federal tax rate, lowered to 15 percent. Senator Hatch told us during the exclusive interview that the administration has already backed off of that and looking at something around 20 to 25 percent. That's the corporate tax rate. Here's what he told us. Corporate tax rates are not going to change and balance the budget, but they can certainly help. And, yeah, it'd be wonderful to get, if we could get them down to 15 percent. Now, I think the president has probably come off of that, uh, that particular figure. Uh, recently, but I'd like to get them down. You know, if we could get them down to 25 percent or 20 percent, this country would turn around, I think, overnight. Now, we did speak with him about health care. Mitch McConnell, he says, is a master at this, and they have to win the vote in the Senate, or else the country faces a future for health care that Orrin Hatch doesn't agree with. Here's what he told us about health care. Well, I'd prefer anything other than socialized medicine. If we go that route, pretty soon health care will be almost every dime of the federal government. And I've got to tell you, people were demanding more and more and more and more. That's just the way it is. And if we go to socialized medicine, we deserve what we get. And we're almost there. If we don't win on this issue in the United States Senate, that's where we're headed. But the emphasis now is on tax reform. Behind the scenes, the committees from Senate Finance, House Ways and Means, and the administration meet almost daily as they write the legislation. But the legislation faces a huge hurdle. That's the border adjustment tax that Chairman Kevin Brady and the House Ways and Means Committee will not let go of. Here is what Orrin Hatch said about the bat. He is not in favor, but won't rule it out just yet. He won't give up on that. He's very convinced that that's something they just have to do. They're going to have to show me how it does not violate, inter violate international norms and how it really will work and how, it, uh, uh, how it's not uh, just another way of taxing people and uh, how it will not raise uh, retail sales and uh, rates and everything in this country so that the middle class is hurt really badly and the poor especially. I mean, these are all issues that have to be raised. You know, Neil, one thing we don't talk a lot about is that 10% of the highest income earners in this country pay roughly 68% of all federal income taxes. Senator Hatch told me that that 10% of income earners should not expect a tax cut. They're going to eliminate, even though tax brackets will drop, they're going to eliminate most of the deductions. So those people in the top 10% probably won't see a tax cut. Yeah, it could be a watch. You broke a lot of news there, not the least of which was uh, Hatch's comments earlier on about, you know, the, the possibility that, you know, the 15 percent corporate rate looks you know, probably not and maybe 20, 25 percent. I mean, that, that seems to be where he sees things going. Yes. That could be startling. Yeah, and, and we actually heard from the administration that that 15% rate, that was the opening of the negotiation. Right. What's important here is they've been negotiating this. We've all been paying attention to health care and the that's other right. issues, but this has been going on behind the scenes. All right. Uh, that's a little higher than most people were counting on, though, uh, to your point. Adam, thank you very, very much. Adam Shapiro.